welcome back to my channel in this video I want to go ahead and make a delicious homemade crepe batter to use on my crepe maker I listed the ingredients first because I wanted you guys to be able to just pause the video in the beginning write it down and go ahead and make the batter along with me I started off beating the eggs first and then I added everything else but the key thing to keep in mind is to make sure that your batter is mixed very well once you add your flour. You don't want any clumps in your batter because they will show once you start making the crepes. have to add vanilla extract to your crepe batter but I really like adding to mine just because we usually eat our crepes with jelly or fruit or Nutella and I feel like the vanilla extract just adds an extra little touch of flavor to the batter but if you want to make your crepes savory then I wouldn't put the vanilla extract in there or the sugar. chance to grab any iced coffee recently um, I usually like to buy some cold brew from the store but um, I just went ahead and made some hot coffee and I don't usually add any sweetening to it like sugar but I do add whipped cream oh man that's a lot <laughs> and some Ghirardelli caramel drizzle this is usually how I make my uh, cold brew coffees but like I said I don't have any on hand now so this is how it's gonna be all right I finished making the batter so let's see Look at this. Look at this, Jacob. Look how cute. Uh huh. You wanna try it? I like it like that. Okay, so this is. Wow. What I was opening in the previous clip was a brand new jar of fresh homemade blueberry preserves. So you don't have to actually make crepes on one of these. Uh, they're not very expensive. They're like, they range from $30 and up on Amazon. I bought mine from Amazon, but um, you can just make them on a pan if you want. This is just a lot prettier. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I'm not a pro at it, so if there's going to be any professional crepe makers out there who can just whip it up really quick, I mean, I'm still trying to get used to this thing. I probably only used it like three times or something. But I really like it, and the kids really love it. And another way you can eat the crepes is with Nutella or you can put some fruits on top um, this is the blueberry preserves that I was telling you guys about earlier um, my mom made it from fresh hand-picked blueberries 
she knows somebody in Georgia, like a friend of the family that has a ton of blueberry plants and they never picked them. So her and my uncle went and picked like, it was just insane how much they picked. So they just made a bunch of blueberry preserves and it tastes so good. If you guys don't have any blueberry preserves and if you don't have any access to any, the other thing I would do is just buy a small pack of blueberries and get a little saucepan. So a little pan over the stove, put a little bit of butter, I would say maybe about half a teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon of butter, and then pop all your washed blueberries in there and maybe about a tablespoon of sugar and just mix it and don't put it on high, keep it like medium heat. And then um, when it's all done and becomes all saucy, you just put that on top of some fresh hot crepes or even like pancakes, it doesn't have to be crepes. 